Hello. May God bless your life with peace and prosperity. Today, we are going to talk about seven signs that you are about to be greatly blessed. Whenever something big is about to happen in our lives, many things start moving around us. So, pay attention to the signs I'm going to talk about in this video, because these signs will help you get an idea of what God is preparing in your life. Because when nothing new is on the horizon, our lives come to a standstill. Now, whenever you are on the path to a miracle, signs will appear. Do you want to know what these signs are? Let's go. I want to be a blessing in your life. Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 2 say, Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for forty days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. Before Jesus began his ministry, we see here that Satan went to meet him in the desert. Do you know why? Because Satan was observing a different movement. Whenever something big is about to happen, the enemy will try to meet you to stop you or even divert you from God's original purpose. The first sign is to have a partial answer to prayer. Why partial? Because it's not what you prayed for, it's similar. For example, you prayed to marry a handsome, rich, and godly man. But then a man appears in your life who is handsome, rich, but with a bad character that is not God's answer for you. In fact, the devil will always try to deceive you to divert you from God's purpose. This is the first sign, a partial answer to your prayer. The Bible says, If you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? If your child asks for bread, will you give him a stone? The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. If it adds sorrow, it's no longer a blessing. The second sign is that the devil will try to stop you. When Jesus was going to the cross to die for us, the devil was trying to stop him. How many times things are so difficult for us? Battles in the mind, struggles in financial life, in relationships, and the desire to give up. The desire to stop seeking, stop praying, and what if I tell you that this is a spiritual attack? That you are undergoing a spiritual attack, and the devil wants you to stop. The enemy wants to somehow block your path. The third sign is the pressure on you increases. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of things. You solve one thing, another appears, and you are never at peace. The fourth sign, Satan will try to confuse you and make you retreat. When you are on the path of a blessing, the devil will make you go back so that you don't reach your blessing. The fifth sign is prophetic dreams and repeating numbers. I believe that God speaks to us through numbers. You look at a house, the numbers repeat. You look at the clock, the same happens, equal numbers. Also, if prophetic dreams are happening repeatedly, this frequency of things is God telling you that he is preparing something for you. Before big things happen, there will be a stage of preparation. The sixth sign, you will feel something different. The other day I woke up and told my wife, I feel like something good is going to happen. I felt it in my heart. I can't explain it. It was a feeling that something very good was going to happen, and it did. Sometimes we feel hope, inspiration, and you know that something good is going to happen. The seventh sign, you will feel an unusual peace, even in the midst of turbulence around you. You have a peace within you that God is holding everything, that you are going through that storm, but very soon you will reach the promised land. I hope you have identified with some of these signs and know that your blessing is on the way. I pray for this. Stay in peace. I know and believe that your blessing is on the way, but everything has its time to happen and God knows when to deliver our blessings so that they are eternalized in our lives. Stay faithful and perseverant in prayer. This is the way to reach what God has for us. May God bless and keep your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are in constant prayer for you, subscribers to our prayer chain.